Uh, let's let's demonstrate what we're talking about. That might be easier than, than talking about it. Let's take a look at this. It's kind of complicated, but take a look at the book. Here we go. We have a single pole switch, and hopefully what I did here worked. I got one metal box. I got a ring. I got two connectors. I'm using 20 feet of pipe as my unit. I'm putting in one coupling. I'm going to put in three straps, one single pole switch, one plate, and I'm using 50 feet of wire. That seemed about right for what a switch might be. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we get what our unit, uh, what our pricing is. Can we price it? And that is per hundred. The unit is a hundred here. Here's our unit. So we, this is forty-seven dollars and forty-eight cents per hundred. There's one of those, so that's forty-eight cents. And of course, it, you have rounding here. That's why it's point four seven eight four rounds to point forty-eight. So if you add up all these numbers right here, it might not actually add the nine point fifty-eight. I mean. It, 9.58 is if you add everything up and this went out to many decimal places. You just wouldn't know that they're the decimal place, the numbers are past the decimal place. The labor is 18 hours per hundred, so therefore one of those is 8.18. So here we go. You get $9.58 in material. It's going to take 1.25 hours. Um, we have a labor unit adjustment of, let's say, 10% for whatever the case may be. There's some factor. So hours is going to go up, so 10% from 1.25. Two five, it's 1.37. My labor cost is 18 bucks an hour times the 1.37. I got $24.70, and that reflects 34.31 percent of the selling price. So I know what that is. My material cost was 9.58. I'm going to go with 15 percent material cost adjustment. Then it's 11 dollars and two cents. Seven percent sales tax is 77 dollars, 77 cents. So the material cost is $11.79, and that's going to refle reflect 16%. And then my prime cost is going to be my material and labor is $36.46, which is 50%. I have overhead. I'm saying, hey, I don't know how to do overhead. I'm not quite sure what to do with overhead. I'm just going to figure whatever I charge per hour, that's what I'm charging per hour for overhead. So I charge $18 an hour for electrician, overhead $18 an hour. So let's take the hours times the rate per hour. Take a look at that. So we had 1.37 hours at $18 an hour, $24.70. My break-even cost is $61.19. I want to have 15% profit, but if I want 15% profit, I don't multiply it by 15%. I multiply it by the markup multiplier that we've seen in that little chart of 17.65%. So 17.65% of my break-even costs gives me my profit. And that comes out to be 10.80. Total selling price is 71.99. If I do my percentages, you can see that a 17.65% markup of your break-even costs will give you a 15% of your selling price. So it kind of gets where we're at. So now we know, hey, every time we're going to be putting in a single pole switch on this condition, it's going to cost me $72. I don't know. Do you, do you, do you sell it for 72? Do you round it up to 75? <coughs> what do you guys do? How are we doing your unit pricing? A lot of times we'll end up uh, maybe rounding to the nearest dollar. At $72. Uh, bucks. $72. Mm -hmm. uh, like we had mentioned before, if we've got the opportunity to do so, we'll put in one price for ads and another price for deducts. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's assume that we had included a fixture in here, right? Well, if I included a fixture in here, then I would have increased my material costs. We would have had my markup. I'd have done everything in here. So what you're saying, <coughs> <clears throat> Based on what you taught me here, Jim, I'd put all that in here and I'd come up with this total selling price. Then if I'm gonna if you're supplying the fixture, I'm only gonna find out what the dollar amount was the fixture that I pulled out. I didn't change my profit margin dollars, I didn't change my overhead. I'd actually put a line item below here that would say, you know, supply by owner, and then I would then take the seventy one ninety nine and minus, let's say, or rather whatever the number is, and minus and that way I'd have my profit still in the job, I have my overhead in the job, and I don't really care whether you supply the fixtures or whether I supply the fixtures, because I'm not making any more, I'm not losing any more money, that's just simply. Perry, do you agree with that? Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Yes, Steve? Well, I got a couple of uh, thoughts on this. For one thing for unit pricing is it may lend itself real well to the small contractor doing little jobs, service calls, and so on. And I think there's kind of a big demand 
you know, anymore for people wanting to know uh, what is the price going to cost me to come out and install this switch. They don't want to know what's so much per hour and so much. They want to know what's, people don't like what's that it going to cost me. They want a unit price. And so if you're just going out and doing one switch, then maybe your profit's going to have to be higher than that uh, on the small, you know, small jobs where you're going to be just doing one or two of these units. Well, one thing I did with Michael, my son, who's a contractor, he'll get a call and somebody wants to put in three outlets, two outlets, one outlet, seven outlets, ten outlets. It costs a lot of money to drive all the way to somebody's house yeah. and take a look at what needs to be done. And so we came up with a, a formula. I can't remember what the number is, but I think it's somewhere neighborhood. The first one outlet's $150. Just if you want me to come out, put in one outlet, it's $150. And then if it came the second outlet, well, the second outlet is $100. Third outlet is 90, 80, yeah. 70, 60, 50 dollars, and then once you get past, let's say, seven or eight outlets, then it's 50 dollars an outlet yeah. or whatever the number is. That way, you know, because the overhead and all the management costs yeah. to, to get to that one or two or three or four, but once you get down to 10 outlets, well, then you know you're already there. You can you can you yeah, can drop then you've that got cost efficiencies down. There. Yeah, 